We've talked about this before. Commercials. It's very she-she to hate commercials. But then it's she-she to eat snails. There's one important thing you must remember about ads. They pay my salary. And there's a spot on the air right now that's becoming more famous than that car salesman who said, nobody. Move over, Ralph Brown. Keep practicing, mean Joe. Get back Ronald McDonald and take a look at this. I'm going to show you something right on cue. Q107 with at least three commercial-free hours. Coming it's the right Remarkable Mouth doing 107. that thing, talking that talk. Chris Delala, 28-year-old California actress whose TV commercials for Q107 have made her an overnight success. We got some good time rock and roll on the Q. Her style, you might say, is sex uh, since you very unique. That's remarkable. Q107 is a remarkable radio station. Well, what you do... <clears throat> do you consider it a God-given talent, or do you have to practice? Well, you have to have the natural ability to be able to do it. Um, but you also have to practice a lot, too. It, it's, it doesn't come easy, so you have to learn how to get the different timings down and listen to the di different disc jockeys' voices. And for this particular spot, for these spots for Q107, I, um, I really had to listen to the cassettes quite a bit before I got the timing down. So you almost need there's a, a lot of practice. You almost need a motor mouth, don't you? How fast can you go? <laughs> well, I can go pretty fast. <laughs> pretty fast. Let's see here. Um, Johnny on the box. <laughs> the most music. Q107. The commercial has done wonders for Q107. Since that mouth roared, 107 has gone from nowhere right to the top in the highly competitive rock and roll radio racket. And so the next time you hear someone knocking commercials, think of me and my family and my mortgage. And besides, in some cases, ads are a lot better than the programs. Like this stupid offbeat.